And what do you think of the koi pond? It's perfect. I'm so glad we got this done before our grand opening. What? I, I just got a text about suspicious activity in our business checking account. Emma, do you know anything about this? No, what's going on? Not sure. Okay, there's a link here. Uh, let me... Oh, don't click that. I wouldn't click anything that you get in a text message or email unless you're positive that it's legitimate. Oh, okay. But it's from our bank. Mm, not so sure about that. I would call the bank directly. You want to make sure this isn't a phishing scam. I'll call them now. <sighs> Thank you, Emma. I've definitely heard of a phishing scam, but what is it? There are various types, but one of the most common is an email or text that is phishing to see if it can hook anyone that will provide their private information. Oh, I get it. Phishing. Throwing a line out to see what they catch, and that text that said suspicious checking account activity is the bait. Exactly. They'll ask you to log in to verify a charge, but it's a fake login page set up to steal your username and password. Once they have that, they have direct access to your account or email. Whatever they're fishing for. I called the bank. The account's fine, and that text was not from them. Really? So this is a phishing scam? How did they get my cell phone number? <sighs> Ugh. If I had fallen for this, I would have no idea how to fix it. Well, prevention is obviously the best strategy. I find NIST to be a great resource. Their small business cybersecurity corner is definitely worth checking out. If you fall for a phishing attack, first and foremost, change your account password. And if you use that same password for any other account or anything online, change all of them to something unique. And of course, call your bank to make sure you have fraud alerts set up. <laughs> Scott, you're in landscaping. How do you know so much about this? Because I was one of the fish that got snagged. They got me and my checking account. By the time I got in touch with my bank, they had already taken several thousand dollars. Once I cleared that up, I made sure to learn as much as possible about the topic. I need that NIST website right now. Let me show you. Just go to www.nist.gov forward slash ITL forward slash small business cyber.